Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Nikla. Today I have a few books that I need to talk to you guys about. You're gonna love these books so much. So sit back, relax, and continue watching. But before you do, go down below, subscribe if you haven't, obviously. Also give this video a like as well. But other than that, let's get started with this video. And I can wait so we can break about the so the first book that I need to tell you guys about is called Ready or Not. And this book is by the authors Elizabeth Haley. Ready or Not is the fourth book in the Love Gang series. If you're curious of what the other three are, if you haven't heard about this series at all, you can go hop over to my channel to see of all the other book reviews that I did for this series as well. And check out those book reviews because those three set of books are about two different characters within this group of friends. Friends. and their names was Drew and Sophia and the fourth book is with Taylor and Ransom and Taylor is Sophia's friend so just so you can have a little background information so please go ahead and check out those book reviews if you haven't and check those books out and read them so Ready or Not is the fourth book, like I've said. Two main characters within this book is Taylor and Ransom. Taylor Peterson is best friends with Sophia since they were little. And she spent the summer with Sophia, as you know, within the other three books, and her new friend group to get away from personal issues that she has serious ex troubles personal issues she had to get away so she decides to just stay away from that issue and just take classes online at the same time she's getting more closer to ransom even though she's having troubles with her ex she's still falling and getting more involved with ransom she's having more of a happy life with her new friends and living on her own and she also has deep other family troubles with her dad and to keep in mind within this book she has serious ex troubles I'm telling you serious so that's Taylor Peterson so let's go on to Ransom Holt Ransom Holt met Brody first Brody is Sophia's brother and so Ransom was like friends with Brody at, at first they met at their new luxury summertime apartments that they all were kind of living in during the summer and soon as Brody introduced Ransom to the whole gang, they became good friends with all of them. And the whole gang that I'm mentioning, if you don't know, it's Drew Sophia from the first three books that I mentioned. And then there's Taylor, and there's Amy, and then there's Xander, Toby, Carter, Anea, and then of course Brody. So that's all the friend group that I'm talking about when I say friend gang. He works with a after kids program, school thing program during the day and a stripper by night. But also like Taylor has some serious family troubles and issues, different kind of family troubles and issues and as well that he has just has to deal with just as much as Taylor has to deal with. So the main concept of this story, both Taylor and Ransom have their own major issues to deal with like I've been mentioning. Even though they have messy lives, they get to know each other more personally and have feelings kind of form, not kind of, they form, you know? Slowly but surely, but they form. Taylor is being cautious and unsure because of her ex and she just still dealing with the ex troubles that she's just being cautious with Ransom even though she likes Ransom and Ransom wants her so much. He just needs to find a way for them both to get together. But both of their issues come crashing in their faces especially Taylor's unfortunately okay mm -hmm. if you know the ending you know but yeah that that the ending is a shocker and you just gotta read it to see how it all unfolds this book ready or not is 25 chapters no epilogue because these is gonna be like two more books I think within this uh, Taylor and Ransom story. Goody. I love Drew and Sophia's story so much and that's how I start loving the, the Love Game series but Taylor and Ransom's story is like ballpark out of sight. It's really really good. So so good and it's even more juicier. I just love this story even more. Since this is the fourth book it's out today. You can read it love it if you haven't already and the next book is coming out today that we'll be talking about in just a second so yes get ready the ending was you know 
kind of happy. Ransom was a white knight in shining armor, or however you say that saying, you know. But at the same time, the ending was it was a jaw-dropping, shocking moment. Like the characters wasn't expecting it. I sure wasn't expecting it. I, I love how endings are like that when they are unexpected things, what you might think will happen. So and now I'm just worried about these two characters with this book cliffhanger, and I'm just so ready for this next book, right? Uh, I'm reading the next book right now that I'm going to talk to you about, but I haven't finished it fully yet. So let's go ahead and jump over to the new book that comes out today, June 22nd. So the fifth book of this love game series is called Let's Not and Say We Did. And so this book has a 280 pages. So there is a no more secrets between Taylor and Ransom. There's no more. All their secrets are out to one another. After their horrible encounter with Taylor's ex in this dark alley, their relationship and who they truly are inside are being put to test, really. Both Taylor and Ransom are dealing with some heavy issues with Taylor with Brad's stuff, her ex, and Ransom with his family issues that he's dealing with um, all at the same time. So basically, they need to figure out how they got to this point, like what led them to get to this point of what they all dealing with, dealing with and how they will get past it and where will they go from here to move their relationship with one another, to move through these issues they are having. This is just a really freaking good book. I really, really recommend you to get this book, to buy it, to see, read it, and to love it, and it's you're going to freaking be happy about this one it's really good juicy good all the above a lot of drama suspense yeah you're gonna worry about these characters so I have another book here that comes out today that I am reading right along with of let's not and say we did I'm reading this next book called ready to run and, and it comes out today and I need to tell you guys about it because it's so good so far that you all need to read it and to know about it. So Ready to Run is by two authors, Jennifer Rebecca and Alyssa Kale. So this book is book number one, the Sunnyville series. So this book is about a friends to lovers romance. The two main characters is Bailey Hart and Archer Scott. So Bailey is a runaway bride. Yes, she is. She isn't scared of getting married. More like she deserves better than her crap husband to be and didn't realize it till she was walking down the aisle. So she ran away. Like, don't seal the deal. Just run away. If you feel as it's bad, run away. Don't get married. So that's what she did. Then there's Archer. Archer Scott is in love with his best friend Bailey. Mm, yes. And she is secretly in love with Archer too, but they don't know that. Not yet, um, obviously, in the book. But yeah, she, she loves him too. More than them friends. He is a sweetheart and would do anything for his best friend, Bailey. Including running away with her to Bora Bora and make her forget all the troubles that she left behind, you know, running away from her. Her wedding so the question is really within this book would these two best friends let loose and become the true lovers that they are meant to be and are always meant to be or do they just stay in the friend zone <laughs> so that is what this book is about I love a good love story and a lovers to friends romance this is gonna be really really good and I really recommend you guys to read it so far, Let's Not and Say We Did and Ready to Run are amazing books. I'm like halfway between both books and like these books are so good and I have to recommend these books to you guys before I finish them because they come out today but also like you guys deserve to know these books. I, I just love them all and need you guys to read it. All these books that I've mentioned in this video are available for you guys to pick up and read today so that's really good for you guys and so Thank you so much for watching this video. I have put you in some book overload and I hope you picked up one of these books up today or all of them, like you need to read them all. I recommend them all, they're, they're really good. So thank you so much for watching and give this video a like down below. Also subscribe so you have more book reviews and just more book things that I do on my channel. So thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it.
But other than that, I'll catch you back next week with another cool video. Bye!